is in the color China. This is a really nice ruby red color, and this is, I believe, part of the first release of Pixie Dust, like the first collection. It had like a red, a black, a gray, and then like a periwinkle and a really light seafoam color. So kind of a random collection of colors, but um, this is still, I think, one of Zoya's best pixie dusts. I think it just, the simple red sparkle with the texture is just gorgeous. So that is China. So this one I am gonna keep, it's so pretty. Again, it's one of like my favorite pixie dusts, I think, because I think the just the combination of the red with the glitter and the shimmer and the um, pixie dust, like, texture is just incredible. So that is China. This polish is called Destiny. This is very, very similar to Jinx. I would say it's just slightly different. Um, I am going to keep both, even though they are very similar, because I don't have a backup of either of them, and they are, again, pretty much my favorite summer oranges. They're pretty much the perfect summer orange for me. I know this project is about de-stashing and thinning out my stash, but when it comes to colors like this, like that I didn't get backups of, it's just they end I end up keeping both just in case they run out. And because these actually run out pretty quickly, I have gone through pretty much half of like one of my liquid stands, for example, because it's it's got a pretty thick formula. So I go through them pretty quick. So yeah, that is Destiny. So here it is up close. Again, it reminds me a lot of like Altoid Sours when those came out. Um, and it's super similar to Jinx, but yeah, this one I am going to keep and that is Destiny. This is in the color Beatrix. It's like the lighter version of Destiny or Jinx and it is um, very much like a tangerine color. Again, I'm not super into oranges, but I feel like with the gold shimmer and with the texture in it, it's just a little bit more flattering on me. So that is Beatrix. So this one, again, I am gonna keep it. It's so pretty and it's another really nice pedicure in like summer colors. This color is called Solange and it is a really beautiful sunshine yellow color. Pretty much the Pixie Dust version of Carrie. I believe that these um, Pixie Dust came out at the same time as the collection that Carrie came out in. So it's like they were all coinciding releases. So you had like the Pixie Dust version of Carrie or um, like the one that I just showed you was a picture that pixie dust version of Tansy. So this is what it looks like up close. You can see that again, it's a little bit more of a speckled, almost glass fleck sort of shimmer inside of the pixie dust. It's again, very much like just the pixie dust textured version of Carrie. So that is Solange. This polish is called Vespa. This was from the first release of Pixie Dust as well. This is that like seafoam green that I was talking about. I guess it's not really much of a seafoam. It's a little bit more of like a jade green, especially if you get like traditional jade jewelry. Um, it has that sort of undertone to it. It also has, again, um, a beautiful shimmer. And the first release of colors also had, a lot of them had like a silver sparkle running through them, which I thought made them look a little bit more enchanting. This one is actually really sheer. I forgot that this one's pretty sheer, so um, I will build this one up for you guys just so you guys can see what it looks like when you build it up. The other ones are pretty much fairly opaque in one coat, so I didn't want to do the swatches, the multiple swatches, especially after doing this a second time because I lost all my footage and it was really awesome. Really really awesome that that happened. So yeah, I'll show this one um, built up for you guys so you guys can see it better and just kind of have an idea about how the pixie dust in general build up. But um, the OPI liquid sands I think are a little bit thicker of a formula so I never really had to layer them up. I could do kind of a thick coat and get them opaque. So I am going to let this dry and come back for a second coat. So I'm going to go in now with the second coat and this, um, you can see the color is actually building up really well. The sparkle gets a little bit more intense as well. Um, and then once it dries down with that texture, it gets even more twinkly. So that is two coats of Vespa. So this is Vespa up close. You can see the silver sparkle a little bit more. This is one of those polishes that I do do the um, hollow top coat on top of or some other sort of effect top coat and then put a top coat on top of that just because you get the shimmer and the texture off of um, the pixie dust and then you get the hollow top coat or like a shimmer for example if you put another like a shifty shimmer on top um, and then with the texture it like gets really speckly and really cool or if you put a top coat on top it just gets to be this like really crystally 
glossy finish. So um, this is one of the first polishes that I actually did that with. Um, so yeah, that is Vespa. This next color is called Liberty, and this is a really nice bright blue color. It has a lot of the um, sparkle in it like, what is that one called? Solange had, in that it's not just like um, the textured sparkle. It has almost like a glass fleck, definitely a glitter running through it. This one is much more opaque than Vespa was, and you can see that, again, it covers really nicely. I can show you sort of a thicker coat. I guess I should have done this in the beginning. But it essentially goes fully opaque in one coat if you do a thick coat like that. Um, so yeah, I definitely should have shown you that in the beginning of this video <laughs> instead of being like, I'm just going to do one coat. But if you made it through to this point, this is the reason why I was doing the one coat. Um, so yeah, that is Liberty. So here is Liberty up close. You can see the glitter a little bit better and um, it's just, it's such a pretty color. This is one of those like sort of ocean depths sort of colors um, that I always like just like looking at. <laughs> like this is one of those colors that makes me just like stare at my fingers for a while and then people think that I'm like crazy or high or whatever, but it's just so pretty. So yeah, that is Liberty. This color is called Sunshine, which beyond me for understanding why it's called sunshine but this is a um it's like a light navy I don't really know what this color is considered but it's definitely not navy but it's not like just blue you know so it's like it's one of those in between colors it's a light navy um and it has the silver shimmer in it as well and this one as you can see on my index finger went on really opaque. So this is one of the ones that like is has got like a really good formula. It's definitely a one coater, really easy to apply, really pretty, and this is another one that looks great with a hollow top coat on top of it. So this is Liberty up close, really pretty, really sparkly and twinkly. Um, or not Liberty, this is Sunshine, sorry. Again, I don't know why this is called Sunshine, but yeah, it's really pretty and it's one that I am going to keep. This is in the color NYX. This is, um, again, from the first collection of Pixie Dust. This is one of my favorite of the Pixie Dusts as well. This is like that periwinkly blue color. Um, I'm not going to build this one up for you guys because I did already build up Vespa and I just want to keep this video as short as possible, but it's a really pretty periwinkly, um, really like ethereal and serene sort of color. So that is NYX. So this is what NYX looks like up close. Really, really pretty. Again, really sort of fairy-like and like twinkly and basically one of my favorite colors in, in general anyway. So yeah, that is NYX. This is in the color Stevie. This is the first polish that I ever put a hollow top coat on top of. Um, this is a really light lavender with a silver glitter running through it. I believe this was also in the first batch of pixie dust that came out in this one regardless of like the time of year or how I'm feeling. I know it's like a solid manicure that I can turn to to use this and a hollow top coat. It is incredible. It's so pretty. So yeah, that is Stevie. This one I am definitely keeping. It's one of my favorites. I actually have used up an entire bottle of this. So this is my second bottle and my last bottle. I don't have a backup of it. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. And if I were to recommend like any Zoya Pixie Dust or Liquid Sand, I would say try to get your hands on this one because it's so pretty. This polish is called Carter. Carter is a really beautiful sort of royal purple with that same sort of glitter in it instead of just a shimmer. Um, you can see the purple really actually well the glitter when you do the first coat um so yeah this is carter so this polish again i absolutely love it i actually wore this on vacation a couple of years ago i put the hollow top coat on top and it was awesome so if you guys are looking for another one that looks amazing with a hollow top coat try picking this one up this color is called miranda it is a it's actually a pretty red toned pink it's kind of like um like a really dark cherry blossom um or like i don't know if you have, if you ever look at like clip art or like kawaii images of like flowers it's that sort of darkish red pink like that um not quite like hello kitty pink i don't even know where i'm going with this but it's not, it's a reddish dark pink um it's really pretty it's one that i actually don't wear very often so i might not actually keep it just because i haven't worn it very often so yeah that is miranda 
So this is what Miranda looks like up close. You know, I actually think I am going to de-stash this one just because I don't wear it very often. Um, so yeah, this is going to get de-stashed. This polish is called Godiva, and this is a really light sort of grain type of color with a pretty gold or a silver shimmer running through it as well. I think this was the last, um, or no, I have a couple more from the first collection, but I think this was from the first collection as well. Um, I think this one turned a little bit more yellow, like it's kind of lost its pale goldness and gone a little bit more yellow. Um, so yeah, that is Godiva. I think I'm going to de-stash this one as well. I just, um, in a neutral tone, since it's gotten a little bit yellow, it's not something that I think I would wear as often as the next one, which I'm going to show you. So this one I am going to de-stash. This next polish is called Tomoko, and this is a really, really beautiful sort of platinum sparkly color. And this is the one of the two between Tomoko and Godiva I think I would keep just because... The undertone of it is a little bit more flattering on me, and I just like the sparkle on it a little bit better. So this is Tomoko. So this is Tomoko in all of her glory. Super, super pretty. So this one I am going to keep and get rid of Godiva. This next color is called London, and this is very much like the gray skies of London. Um, and this is a mid-tone gray with the same silver sparkle and the texture, and it's another really pretty one from the first release of the Pixie Dust. So that is London. So this is what London looks like up close and it's really pretty. It's another really nice like neutral color um, that I like to pull out especially in the fall just for something a little bit different from like the um, like desaturated colors. If I want something a little bit sparkly and a little bit different then I'll pull out London. The last polish I have to show you guys today is called Dahlia and this is the black liquid or black pixie dust from the first Zoya collection and this one is again a really stunning color it's not as like midnight black as you'd think it would be because of the um I think purely because of the texture particles and the silver glitter that's running through it, it I don't think it could be fully black but um this one is a gorgeous one as well so this is Dahlia this is one that I always forget that I have and then I see it in my drawer and I always pull it out and I love it every time I wear it. So this is Dahlia up close. This is one obviously that I'm going to keep. It's so twinkly and like space and stars like. Um, so yeah, this is the last one in my pixie dust video. I hope you guys liked this video. I'm sorry that it was like truncated swatches and they were just the one coats, but um, I wanted to keep this video as short as possible and as also like I'm keeping most of these so I didn't I figured you know I would show you what they looked like up close at least but um, I didn't need to do extensive swatches just because I was keeping most of them um, I will be doing China Glaze next that's the next brand that I'm gonna do they'll start next week with full swatches I'll do multiple coats of everything just to see what it looks like and um, be back to my normal swatch my stash type videos next Saturday. So I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, if you could give it a thumbs up, that would totally make my day. Otherwise, I will see you guys soon.